Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> now we need the clap. <laughs> welcome. That was my wife, y'all mm-hmm. heard. If you're just tuning in and you're just listening, uh, welcome to another episode of Cafecito Time. Uh, I burned my mouth on the last episode, so I promise. So don't drink out of my cup. <laughs> Here, I'll do an invisible I really, toast. I really did it just so that you couldn't have my coffee. Just kidding. It was kidding. a defense mechanism. Inhale Cheers. the good stuff. Exhale the bad stuff. I already had my coffee today. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Speaking uh, of coffee, I am yep. very proud of myself that I have only been doing one cup a day. You've been trying to with hi- the ex- hydrate with the exception of yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we both needed a second cup. So I had, I had <laughs> some. some days where it's just like you know what we're going in on caffeine. Um, so um, Juan always tells us about the uh, the health benefits of cayenne pepper. I wonder. Could you put cayenne pepper in your coffee, and is that still healthy? Would you want to? Though? I kind of, I like. I, I behind you, there's some chocolate I bought. It has a ch- chili, like chile in it. I don't know what kind of chile they use. Probably cayenne. Oh man, you want to reach it and grab it? I should, I'll tell you. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe your you don't taste like, buds are thrown off. Okay, you got the wrong one. Just the other one. I'm a they stacked. I like. Uh, yeah, there it is. I, I was craving this. I had to run to the grocery there you store. Go. It does have cayenne pepper. Yeah. Is that a cayenne? Yeah, chili, dark chocolate. I don't know what the actual peppers look like. I always get it ground, grind, grind yeah. it up. But uh, no, nah, I like that combination. I don't know about y'all. Yep. Anybody tuning in, uh, let me know. But uh, definitely health is definitely wealth. And, and that chocolate has probably nothing to do with health. Um, <laughs> that's totally separate subject. Than, uh, than what we're talking about. Those ain't that healthy, bro. I just no, they're it's not like healthy. 20, 22 no, I didn't say they're healthy. No, no, okay. no I didn't say that. I'm yeah. not eating that for health purposes. Yeah. I was saying. I mean, I mean that shit because I want to eat it. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but That's my, good stuff. The reason I got on the subject is, yeah, yeah. can I put cayenne pepper in my coffee? And you're like, why would you want to? And I'm yeah. like, I'd love to. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could. I mean, it's It just goes together. You never had like uh, spicy with sweet. You never had like like chocolate with. I mean, I like like salted caramel. Like I like, I like, uh sweet with um that's all damn you want to be a, a real savage get that get that black coffee with like the straight up cayenne pepper with some cayenne yeah that, that might be good <laughs> that well that's how be, we that, drink that might coffee. burn a little bit too yeah much, that's good right? it's like acidic that's what black. i think about whenever you say like, no nah, i'm thinking like it's got a little bit of milk in it or oh, something okay. yeah yeah i'm thinking straight just black coffee and fucking cayenne pepper just like oh you really trying to burn no 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 penny no. what are you doing bro magic oh she's my like gosh. i'm magically wasting all the pain yeah in some plastic cups but she's been a good girl she's been a good girl um yo uh happy belated birthday my brother march oh, yeah. 2nd march 2nd was my birthday um, they Dr. say birthday. listen pisces that's what you are yeah are known to be great parents juan oh yeah is that what you is that that's what, what horoscope <laughs> says and that's what horoscope that's what and my dad said. was a pisces oh, so okay. that's why i say that and my dad is an amazing father and his birthday uh, would have j- just passed is on the fourth, so right mm, after yours. Pisces, yeah. yeah, I've had relationships tell me, "Hey, you remind me of my dad." I was like, "Please don't, ah! please don't like, ever say that again." Every relationship, oh please don't, don't ever. You're like, that shit up. and you're like, I hope you had a good dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't want dad in my conversation at all. <laughs> Weird, like, yeah. hey, she's she's thinking about her dad while she's with you. You're like, oh. What issue? What, what issues did you go to, bro? <laughs> Awkward. You know how I love watching that soft white underbelly. Yeah. You know the the reason why I enjoy it is because people are just interesting, she are they not? Silent, you did a silent take, like that's her boy. pause. That's her. Like, that's her beat. <laughs> she takes a Here beat. Here we go. <laughs> Let me give you the tea. <laughs> I mean, I just like it's it's it saddens me that you know there's really just a lot of people like going through some shit out there every day right and i know that we all know that there's people going past them every yeah, day every, yeah every day every day every day for sure for sure but i guess my thing is like when it, we t- they were talking about the prostitutes right i know right okay oh they're not prostitutes what did i tell you the sex the, workers no the new word i told you entrepreneurs uh <laughs> damn this pimp had it's a name for them and he said they're not that's they're not called pimps and that they're not sex workers i forgot what it's called but damn and he used the whole i was telling him i said so basically i'm your pimp because he's, he was he's saying a metaphor of agent and a performer in a performer he said that's what he is if and you look like, at it pin me out because i need some more dates <laughs> Because he was saying, like, that's basically what it is. What's his name? Gator? <laughs> <laughs> From hey, fucking what? the other guys? Oh, oh I don't know. Uh, Gator? Oh, so, anyway, so it's just like, 
looking at different personalities and people doing stuff and just you just kind of think like damn parents really be effing up their kids and if they don't break that generational like curse it's just going to continue to go on because the little girl that he was interviewing that had become a, a you know was working the streets right it was very interesting because she's one of the few that I've ever heard that did not that's not on drugs mm. <laughs> And she's she, a focused uh, worker. That's exactly what she said. She said she's. She says I'm focused on my paper because I know I only look this way for a certain amount of time. And she's hopping in and out of cars. So basically, so she's like, I only have this amount of time to be this age and this desirable, and so I have to make X amount of money. She's a real fighter. What if she broke? She's it down? a real fighter. All the fighters say that, like, yeah, you get in and get out. Get your hey, what if she broke it down? She's like, look, based on the leverage I have in this department, you know. Yeah. But bro, now's the she time. started talking about how she hired a financial advisor. Yeah. What? Pro- what? Sex worker hey, is that that's smart? That's why her gains probably way up there. Where it's like, so she's bro, like, I why would I ca- pay somebody? To hold my money when it's my, you know, she speaks very vulgar. Wait, of was course. she on uh, Fig- Figueroa out there? Fig? No, she says that's for the. That's the low end. That's the, the low end. Ratchet. Yeah, it's just like I'm not ratchet. I I I, I mess with bigs money. So I wonder where she be at. But look, uh, have y'all? Why seen you wondering? No, I'm just <laughs> Probably out of my. <laughs> <money>. <laughs> hey, no, but look, but look, uh, they fly. Some people fly drones over there on Fig Figueroa. Where the like the chicks are out there scantily clad, like eating hot Cheetos, like waiting for their next appointment, and and they like harass them with the with the drone, and so they the footage they're just like, ah. or, like, like swing at it with a purse, or no like, way. try to get away from it because it's filming them. That'd so be it, funny. It's like if, shaming them and everything else. That'd be funny if oh that lady, God. the business lady, She's is t- like, if the business lady is like, oh man, this is free publicity right here. This what's up? What's up? Shout man, out. she was talking about like how she's like. At first, she had one, and she said, I started thinking about it. She's like, I, I tend to fall in love with him because I see that he's taking care of me. But then she said she got in a little position where she was almost going to die, and she was, like, calling him because it was two Hispanic guys that were, like, like ready. Her? No, they were trying to get money from her pimp. Mm. Mm. And so he was like, well, do what you got to do. And he was like, Call him back. Tell him we're for real. So she's like calling back. She's scared because she's got a gun to her and head. The ain't helping. And the pimp says, if you're going to kill her, mean? then kill her. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Stop calling me. I'm not giving you the money that you want. He's like, I'm watching Netflix. And she couldn't believe that this person who she ter- gives her money to works for was just going to let her get killed. And so she said move, that day moving forward, she said she chunked him to deuce. And never again. And she said, I'll never again let that happen to me. I'll never again, like, let someone control my money. She's like, so instead, she got her her money together. She said, um, she's like, I'm not dumb. She goes, just because I didn't go to high school doesn't mean I got to be stupid. She was like, so... I got on YouTube because everybody go on YouTube anyway. And so she said, I started looking at like how to invest my money. And they said to get a financial advisor. So I got a financial advisor and don't get a financial advice. She's like giving you advice like on how to not get. She's like, and don't get a financial advisor that takes a cut from what he gets you. You got to get the ones that are on an hourly base because they're really they're more in, in, in your interest of finding you good shit versus getting a cut. So she's like telling you all these things. And then she's like, so. Pretty much, I know I'm only 22. I can. Oh, she's been doing it since she was 16. Oh my God, it's disgusting. 16, and so she's like, I'm only 22. I know I probably only have a couple of more years left before I'm just like Same. not. This and is then not, what? She's gonna have her investments. Well, she has all her investments. So she says right now she's only. She, he's like, and where do you live? He's like, well, sometimes I live on my friend's couch. And he's like, so why don't you buy a house? Right, the guy that's uh interviewing like why don't you buy a house so that you can you know she's like well i do he's like but i rent them out <laughs> but but with that i mean so this is the thing like anybody listening to this is like oh man that that's crazy that's a crazy story but like just thinking about how normalized it's been with of and stuff like that to where this is like the norm and so all the stuff she's saying is basically she's learning along the way but she's learning business where she could have just applied that to something else like found a different product instead of her being the product and actually use the same information and just transfer it over to a product and then figure out how to get Mm -hmm. that out to people she could have been funding her own legitimate business where 
you know, like some banks won't take like, where are you getting this money? Like all this, these different rules that they have. In well, place that was her problem. Like That's why she had to start investing. It was because, because she couldn't like really leave it all in the bank. Right. She was just having to deposit like very little money and enough money to where she could just basically be paying the financial advisor to invest in it mm-hmm. and everything else. She's got to keep like in her cash app, right. she says in her Venmo. The reason like, for that is because of the because of the Know Your Client Act in the banking system mm-hmm. um, where it's like they need to know where the money's coming from yeah. so they can track it right because you have, you know businesses like weed businesses mm-hmm. sex um or they strippers even like sex that. stores they'll so have with, a hard time right because s- that the money's not coming in to their they, they don't want their banks associated with that so the, the, instead of having all that headache you could literally just open a business find a product that you put like time energy and money into to perfecting that product that helps a lot of other people and put those same practices that you're using for your body on that and so that would be a success story as far as it, like it sounds like Juan's telling me like why you always got to be chingo bling the product show business <laughs> when you can apply that's something the same different thing. because we're we're offering a service which yeah. is like you're making people laugh you're bringing joy to people and on top like a, of that kind of like a therapist we also do sell stuff that people want to rep your stuff so there's a whole thing behind that we yeah. are doing more than just i mean you ain't selling your body chingo yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean like selling these jokes yeah so that's what i'm saying like we're actually helping with like everything going on with everything being crazy and stuff like that so when people come out and laugh and stuff they need that decompression speaking of laughs and if you need some decompression pull up on your boy Mid- midland texas uh we're out there on the 15th and then Sangelo the next day on the 16th of March, uh, Covina, California. We are back at the West Coast an entire weekend. I think that's like, psh, if it's April 4th through the 7th, damn, that's like, what, six, seven shows? Six shows, yeah. I think, yeah. Yo, let's pack them out. Covina. Covina, that's, it's a beautiful, It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful theater. theater. My gosh, it's um, so pretty. We got some And really it's across cool. the street from a bunch of cute little trendy places, too. Is that the one y'all said the food was fire there? Is that the no, one? San Diego. Oh, San Diego. <laughs> She did not that miss a beat with that. She's like, no. no, I know which so one Covina? that is. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Covina's was wasn't bad, but I, I don't I don't remember really eating uh at the club. I don't Covina. think we ate there. I think I brought uh Mediterranean from across the street. But but I, I love I love the West Coast. I love California. Uh looking forward to being back out there. I had a great time last time I was out there and I didn't even get to check in with everybody like Richard Cabra. Like I was I, there were so many potential podcasts and, and things. That I'm gonna have to give those folks priority uh, next time I get back out yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, and then speaking of West Coast, Bakersfield, April 12th, and then San Jose Improv, April 14th. For more info, hit up the website chingobling.com. Chingobling.com. Do you, do you have some soon? Uh, yes, the Eureka Heights on the 9th. Um, I will be Bring there. Me some beer, please, or I think I'll probably be with you. You will be there, and you will also be there at um, the one for... <laughs> oh, I like both of the Cuban yeah, restaurants. the Cuban on the restaurant 10th. on the 10th. So I'll get to have some good beer on the 9th, and then uh, some good Cuban food on the 10th. Looking forward to that. Hey, uh, guys, here's another thing, guys. Uh, if you guys are listening to this show and you guys haven't uh, texted us your information, I'm going to give you all this phone number. Um, text this number with your name, your city, and an email, and we will, every time we're about to be in that city... Um, we'll be making a list of different cities to where we'll message you with the flyer and then also just with the information of it coming around and you know eventually i'm trying to talk to chingo about like doing like some kind of like giveaways or something for some of the people um and just like doing it on the live or something to where you know we'll do giveaways for the numbers that we do have um it's in that city coming up so we'll if you guys want to be on that it'll be 480 8626 210 Four eight zero eight six two six. So just text us your name, uh, the uh, the city you're in, and your email, and uh, that way we'll do that. It's not it's not a communication thing, yeah. so don't you know I, we ain't gonna text you back or anything. Like, we're gonna yeah. be sending you like it's not gonna be like nonstop back and forth, but it'll be like it's hey not he, here's phone. what's going on. Yeah, it's nothing like no that. Torta pigs, yeah, nothing like that. that. So it'll just be us sending you flyers and stuff because we don't want to be limited to social media on just you know when we're going to be at certain cities because so many people miss it so send us that and when we're going to be in that city we'll be dropping like you want me to say it in a wrap 210-480-8626 pull up and i'm do it again do it again 210-480-8626 hit me on the line pull up and i'm slanging my brick yeah they- <laughs> 
Burr, 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 burr. Hey, there you go. Uh, but yeah, guys. So we're gonna be making it a habit of just giving y'all that number just in case. But really, that's gonna be the plan. Is just that way we make sure we get all the fans that want to go to the shows, and you guys will be the first ones to know. So uh, you guys will be in the know before everybody else. Excited, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm really excited about that beer on the ninth, <laughs> and the Cuban food on the tenth. I didn't even know there was a another Cuban restaurant. I didn't know there was one in the Heights either. I had no idea. So I think we should go but, check uh, it out before we. That's how Chingo's brain works. He's like, he's like, man, wait, I, I get food. Oh my god, and there's a show. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I'm already, th- <laughs> bro. <laughs> Uh, and I'm hitting, okay. You gotta let me go. You gotta Florida. take me to go get crawfish first, though. Okay, come on, I man. Got you. Come I on, got you. man. We're very busy, so let's just try to make some time. Just try take to make me on a time. date. Did yeah. you drink all my coffee? No. Uh, <laughs> you, you let you you let me know when you could schedule me in for we. I could take you to crawfish. So for I can for I can. Uh, That's how you know he's serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So excited about that. Um, we got new merch dropping too. So if, if y'all haven't already noticed, uh, but there's some probably Nike Air, uh, the not Nike Air, uh, <laughs> Chingo scratch Air. that Chingo Air. <laughs> Way to go, uh, Air Chingo. Yeah, some Air Chingo T-shirts. Um, some new socks. Did, did I say Chingo Air? Yeah, hit it up. Chingo the Merch dot com. Chingo the Merch. New Sancho shirt, black and sil- uh, black oh. and gold. Bro, those did so good. We don't have that many, but I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna hard, go get man. more so that uh angel can make them by the time they're hearing this it's already gonna be up online but guys those shirts are fire yeah, yeah. we got hats. even girls were buying them for themselves and, he, and then they're like we're just gonna make the line that goes down the neighborhood sancha and i started laughing i was like what hey we might need to do some sancha because we we do promote sancho's do and sancho's Sancho. brother so i mean hey we got that and so hey if you any want ladies to. want to wear her neighborhood hey sancha. do a black on uh on uh uh like rose, gold. rose gold instead gold of it gold. uh the rose gold foil like you did the uh rose gold on black yeah so gold and rose gold that'd be dope at first i want to see how many sanchas are actually out there if you're a sancha i willing. need you to leave a, they're out listen there, we don't like want in the comments <laughs> they're all up in there out like they'd be they'd be on all the comments like oh my god yes this is listen me. if you're a sancha i need you to leave drop a uh, and you're watching this on youtube Drop a bag emoji because I know you're making that bag. I'm a clienta. If you're a Sancha and you haven't gone to the hive, hey, you're fucking up. All right, you're fucking up. (laughs) Because I got your I got your clothes for the men who got money, and then I don't have the clothes for the ones that don't though. There, so there. So sorry. Problem solved. We just dropped that way. We only have we only have one high end clienta. Clienta. That's all we do. So are they like clientos? With no. How do you say that? Uh, how would you say uh, that? Client. Cliente. Cliente. Yeah. Cliente. Yeah, 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 with the E at the end. So We're all clientes. thinking about it like, I had what? To, like, I had to use it in a sentence yeah. in my hand. Like, no, tengo un cliente. I'm a cliente. Yeah. Clientes is several. Hey, write that down so we don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> but do what now? Uh, cliente. Just because I'm going to forget that. Oh, you want to know. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to get Juan some Spanish. Uh, some little Spanish lessons. Yeah, know, I'm going to take you to Spanish. Mexico like I, too, like I tell uh, Penny every time when she tries to forget. Yo, speaking of, my little one is just not one to speak Spanish, and I don't, B1. and I don't speak English to her. Is she like I'll talk to her in Spanish, and she answers me in Spanish? I mean, in English, she will not. She refuses. I just little be by like, little, we just got to keep playing those cartoons that Penny grew up on, the Spanish ones, and then also songs like um, you. You did the. Uh, and she answers in spanish so. that's the only time i've really heard her and i'm like come on sonny come on in her head she's probably like why are you playing games <laughs> i don't know what it is maybe, maybe the youngest one is always a rebellious one that is turquoise that too baby yeah is that a thing <laughs> are the youngest ones like more rebellious i don't know they're it's just supposed to be more spoiled bro. yeah they're different definitely different personalities because yesterday i was trying to teach her like sit down a is four and she'll say Ariel, right? Because I have a, a, a I have a Disney thing, Ariel. and then I say B is for Belle, and then we got to C for Cinderella. And after C, she says, "I'm tired." You should ask all the horoscope people. Though. It's because the moon was out, and then it was the uh, the what water. Time did, what time did you the, give birth? Yeah. What uh, so, temperature yeah. was your pool what was water? The water level at was that before a piece of Antarctica You're came like, off? Let me see and Mercury. <laughs> is in retrograde <laughs> was the moon full what's going on according to nasa the earth is round <laughs> and then the sun yeah that's why she's they, back. they yeah. do really be getting into is it that like when that, elon though? shot up the car in the space like, like what that? happened 
Yeah. It okay. Hits, it hits the firmament. <laughs> but real talk, if what happened to me the second time around, what had happened to me the first time around, like when I had the scare of having sc- going like, to the uh, hospital. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have had two kids. Oh, it would have been. Scary been movie? It was a. It was a lot of work. What are you talking oh. about? I mean, I was in labor a whole day in my house. A lot for both. Like no epidural. Yes, but with Sunny, it was longer. I was a whole she was like day and a half, somehow, like, and I didn't get her out until the next day, until the yeah, next dude, morning. Long. Labor, it was the bro. longest labor of my life, and I was on no epidural. And it's funny and, when and I the got whole time, there. I'm Chingo's, like, Chingo's like, man, I was exhausting for both of us. Basically. Well, in my head, <laughs> in my head, I'm like, how do I tell her? Let's just go to the hospital and do the epidural and all that because this baby ain't coming. Like yeah. how do I? How do I? How do I suggest? Because in her mind, getting, exactly. How do I suggest without getting smacked? Exactly. Because <laughs> in her mind, she's like, I specifically envisioned it happening this way, and this the meal you're gonna bring me as right after I'm done at the house. Yeah. It's gonna be smooth, you know. Yeah. And, but it got to the point where the uh, the midwife was like, Hey, uh, we're we'll go ahead and tap. We're tapping out. Mm. Like we've been in here. They're like, we tired of smelling candles and incense and <laughs> everybody's just there. And you know, Yo, and they brought out the special glove and the What's special, the special equipment. Yeah, sorry, like a baseball glove? The what one that was all the way up down to here because oh, she was about to stick her entire hand oh, oh. to try to pull down the baby. And then you, you see the glove like this? You see me in the background? <laughs> And what was that for? <laughs> listen, and then they did the same thing when I got to the hospital. And remember, you were sitting there when the doctor got there, and he was doing the same oh, thing. No. Um, and by that time, I'm I like, was. Sir, on, you go arm bar yeah, yourself. You, by that time, I was on the epidural, and then it, and then you know how you like kind of have like a what the? At that point, when I was watching him, I said, "Holy shit!" I had that it. same thing done, but with no medication. And then I said wow you're effing crazy like you literally did that what he is doing right now to you with no medication and that's why i married her and i was like <laughs> holy smokes i w- it was like a trippy like my thoughts were going trippy like everything he's doing it's i literally <laughs> just did it at home with no medication i can't believe I she did that. Your blo- things hey that, that's how you know your body's trying to uh, your mind's trying to protect you you like took those memories yeah. out and then you're just like man how could she even wait a minute that was me what the oh, i know crazy. it was trippy because i remember it was almost like an not an out of body a not out of body experience but it was kind of one of those like wow we did that at the house with she had to bring out the special glove for that and we had to make it work with that one because she only had one because they only use those in like emergency situations, which that's what I kind of was. I got the dishwash glove. The hey, it seems like you could take a clip from like Terminator 2 whenever he like cuts his arm and he takes off his thing and it's his robot hand, his robot hand. And then because he has to go in there and take out a bullet or something, he's just like, all right, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, it was trippy, bro. It It was like, definitely, if that would have happened the first time, I don't think I would have had a second child. Like, I would have been done, done. We would have been had another. We are done. We are done, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Done, done. And I I can't wait for the little one to be done with diapers and formula and all that. So, that would be one less. I mean, Sometimes, though, I get in the, sometimes I do get in the, man, I wish you would have tried for one more. I do. I do. I'll be like, man. But then I'm old also. (laughs) <laughs> so, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm motherfucking tired every morning. Da, it's like, will I, it's like babe, will I be able to do another 20 years of this or 18 years of this? Yeah, like, I'll oof. never be able to retire then. <laughs> <laughs> there is no I'm retiring. Hey, everybody, I'm going to be in uh, Midland, Texas, uh, San Angelo, and Covina. Covina, this is my 20th time there. Oh, bro, maybe, maybe, maybe I remember when, do you remember when that was, place was just brand new? Maybe you'll give away your rights, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, and then just have it tour for you. There you go. AI. Young Chingo in the, in the hat, in the cowboy boots. AI. Yeah. That's the, we that's could that's double the book. Double book, there you like, go. Like Blippy, he got a new Blippy out now. He got some other dude playing Blippy. So I can he have does. Like, he said, I can have like five, he six He has chingos. a new guy and a new girl. I can have five, six chingos. I just need y'all to memorize this script, learn how to improvise. Learn it's it's our kids work. next. We start teaching them comedy. We start getting all the comments Ching. to start writing. <laughs> they love it. Family circus. We're the ones that don't let them. But if it was up to them, bro. See, bro. It's, it's these child labor laws that's really... Uh, <laughs> they would love it if we allowed them to we i we are planning on doing penny this summer in a theater 
uh, yes. like a little theater yes. um, class because she really likes it. But, you know, we're trying to like not. I kind of want her to be a kid. I don't want her to be all up in, you know, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show business. Show business. But unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. They both really. Well, I mean, shout out to my, my uncle, though. Tio Juve, he's he's a. Uh, He's contributing a little bit. He's yeah. finally getting off his butt, and he got a song coming out. Yeah, I think it's different for every kid, though. Like, I think, like, I, I tell my son this is like he's thirteen. I'm like, bro, you got like five more years to like, like prepare. Kid. Just prepare. Like, if yeah. you want to, like, you can still be a kid, and also like, if you're ready. he's self aware. Yeah, like, and also get ready. Like, he's self aware. Like, as far as like, okay, like you can be a kid. He's being a kid, but then if he's self aware of like, man, I wonder when I, I want to get into that or get into that, I always be like, okay, well. If you're trying to get into that, I can tell you, like, you're going to need to know this, this type of business. You're going to need to know this, this, like, just giving him, like, options. Like, so if you want to study on that, you might as well just look into it, look up to it, see if that's something you really want to do. And then he paves his own way. Like, he'll watch YouTube videos for it or whatever. It could be the same thing with them where it's like, you know, they're already being kids as it is, but they're so interested in it. Like, just give them hints of, like, what to look up so that they can just do it on their own. And even with Mickey, we don't really, she's, she's interested too. I try to, we know, same thing with her. Like, it's kind of like, that's cool. But do you have a backup? Like, yeah, trades, like something else that you could do. Cause you know, this is a hard, this so is a four, hard industry. Four more years? She got what? Four more years? Till she's she's got 16 in July. No, she's got two. You saying to graduate high school? No, just to, until she's 18. Was that? Uh, two. Uh, because she turned 16 so she still year. has the routine of going to school and stuff so like yeah. it's in between now it's like the, the preparation time of just trying to develop as many skills as you can before you're 18 and then decide okay now i'm gonna go full tilt into this because now i'm this age and maybe i can find like a job that's like within that same spectrum so that i don't have to work for as much money right now and then after two or three years you start actually making money in the industry and then start moving towards what you're yeah, trying she, to do she listens when i tell her yeah. about like talent stack and mm -hmm. things like that like yeah she'll remember and she'll be like yeah dad talent stack or like different skills and things like that yeah, that's perfect because it's like you have a lot of the insight and that's the, that's the major thing is just giving kids the insight of what you already know so that they just can take it and run with it mm -hmm. so that's that's good y'all got y'all got all that yeah i mean i definitely like i think we kind of all three of us all three of our girls i think they all show interest well the little one she's just you know just a little one at the moment. We but she likes to be on the camera. Yeah. She gets mad when we're recording Penny. She's like, my turn, my turn. <gasps> I don't even channel. know what she's saying. A channel. A channel. And, and then she goes, and then thumbs up. She's like, that's fire, mom. Yeah. <laughs> she said, that's viral. That's viral right there. Put, it, put up it up right now. Put it up. Put yeah. it up. Heck yeah. Uh, one more time. Let's give me this phone number, man. 210-480-8626. Be on our, uh, our hotline list. And uh, tell us your can they city? Can they submit also questions there for Theo Juve? No. No? Uh, we just want it strictly for that because I, I, I don't want it back and forth going and then I don't want too many messages coming in because then it's going to start throwing things off when, when other people mm -hmm. start texting just their stuff and sure. then I got to sift through it. So. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those things where we just want them just yeah, texting them, that, their information and then after that we're texting them back out. So the questions and stuff, that's where we put it on for social media. Just keep a lookout on there. And I put up the questions for like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, mm. and we'll sift through them and go through like just the rundown. So uh, that's that's how we're doing that. So just maybe, yeah, maybe we should make some flyers or something since we're gonna be in Midland, San Angelo, Covina, all these cities. Uh, obviously, we announce it on stage, but maybe we can have something. Right. That's just. Uh, but see, the thing is, is like, like so they want to join the Feria team and then put the phone number. We we can do that. The only thing is, we tried that one time, and it's just more work where we have to be at the show super early just to put them on tables and stuff like that. So it, and and then people sometimes take it. Well, the merch table, if we have them out, like if we give them out at the merch table, then they can go home or later we just and put it out. Continue to do it how we've been doing, it, which is just like announce it and explain to people like put your city and things like that, mm -hmm. so that next time we're in Covina. You know, you guys get first dibs and things like yeah. that. Yeah, we just have, we can figure out different ways. Just, there's different ways to it. It's just, this is just a rough draft of what we're trying to do, and we'll expand on it as we get better at it. So that's just, just starting to do this process. We'll actually start getting a lot more, like, letting you guys know. Like, that's all the thing is just getting you guys the information and it's taking off with it. So that's what we're trying to do. For yeah. sure. For sure, for sure. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
Got so these cats are, are come. I really like that hat. I love that if color. Right, it's kind of dope. I like that color. If you want to go pick some up for me when you're over there, mm. we can get some stuff made. So we'll see you guys at a show. Uh, you come say hello to Marisol at a pop up, and we'll see you in a city near you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for sharing. Bye. Peace.